It's another hot week. It's another dessert thing. I know. I know I do the whole thing about not liking sweets and stuff. This I kind of dig. So, uh, Lynn doesn't know what they are. I didn't want to tell him. But here's, what, here's, here's our starting point. Oh. Do you know what we're oh, doing? Whoa. You're going to do chocolate dipped bananas. That's it, baby. We're doing chocolate dipped bananas. So, these guys have been in the freezer, I guess, about. Um, yeah, how long does it take? Well, they've only been in about an hour, but then they're going to go back in again. I mean, you could, look okay, you throw them in a freezer for two days or four hours, and they're going to be like this, and you're never going to be able to eat them. I like them when they're a little bit softer, still. That's what she didn't say. But so here's what we have to do. And then we're going to top them with things. So this, this uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips, we're going to melt down. And I'm going to try something, see if I can make this simple. And then we're going to put them in a couple things. So, so did you choose semi-sweet because you're not too into the sweets? I chose semi-sweet, no, because um, milk chocolate, I hate. I think it's a waste of chocolate. I hate it too. And I like a little bit more bitter. And rather than using just a straight, uh, dark, uh, not unsweetened chocolate, you need something in there. So the semi-sweet's like a nice little middle of the road kind of thing. But so here's the deal. The deal is that the, the way to do this, the way to melt chocolate, is in something called a double boiler. And Master Chef in there uh, will know that this is generally not the way to do it. You know, you can, you just gotta be careful with the heat. That's the thing. Well, that's just it. So a double boiler is really, if I took a pot, if I, if I filled this with water and got the water boiling and steaming and put another pot inside of this, not so that it touched the water, but so that it sat above it, the steam from the bottom water would hit the bottom pot, it would heat it up, and then it would melt these chocolates in a nice kind of way without burning or scorching or anything. But it's a hassle, I'm gonna try not to do it. I'm gonna try just to do it this way, just by taking it on and off the heat, okay? Okay. So you can see already, look, it's all in, only been in there a little bit. We're already starting, okay? Wow. So it doesn't take very much. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna do one uh, with these pecans. What do you got there? I got pecan chips. And heath? And heath barks. Yeah. And so the pecans we're gonna dip in here. You could use peanuts, you could use cashews, you could use chopped up macadamia nuts. Uh, I like pecans. And so we're getting here. And somebody gave me a little tip about this. They said if you put a little oil in this, almost any kind, mm -hmm. it will help it from being so clumpy and it will clumpy and it will go on the uh, bananas better and you won't have a big chunk of uh, chocolate on oh, one side and not much on the other. So we're gonna try that. There was one trick I wanted to try with uh, coconut oil. Oh yes. And I had heard that if you do coconut oil, like cause coconut oil hardens at room temperature. Yes, I, that's what I was gonna use. They told me coconut oil. Nice. Okay, so look, Heath bars. I was, first I was thinking about peanut brittle, thinking peanut brittle would be good. But then I thought, well, I don't have to make peanut brittle. I can just buy Heath bar, which is pretty close. Oh. Except it's turning it into dust, which is not what I want. This chocolate's melting, so now here's what I have to do. Look at you multitasking. Okay, that's good. Here's what I have to do. Now I have to get a bag, because I want this. I'm glad I bought two. See, now here's the rushing thing. Now why do I feel the need that I gotta rush? Uh, if any step doesn't go perfectly smoothly, then you feel like you need to rush. I know. That's exactly right. Yeah. You're right. That's a good observation. I don't know why. See how thick this is? It's getting there. Let's get a bottle of uh, We All of Blood Orange Balsamic Vinegar. Ooh. That sounds good, but you're not using it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wow. Why do you think you have to? You know, I should have put these in the freezer. Oh, yeah, that might be good. Okay, I think I'm good there. I don't know, what is it about the coconut oil, Lynn? Coconut oil hardens at room temperature, so when you augment, like, whatever oil is in the chocolate with the coconut oil, yeah. you essentially, uh, like, when it cools down, like on a frozen banana, for instance, yeah. it just hardens right away. That's right. And becomes, like, kind of that magic shell... Type thing that you're we saying all love. with the coconut oil. 
That's what I have heard or read on the internet. <laughs> you, you and the internet, man. Man, I feel like I need a little bit more chocolate. Okay, this is almost there. Let me just, uh, Maxie, I'm gonna go over here and get the coconut oil. Okay. So lucky. Me. Cause you know, like when you're a kid and they do that ice cream, they dip that ice cream in the, the chocolate and it hardens right away. Right. Yeah. It's yes. Like the best yes. Thing. Magic shell. Yeah. So the coconut oil is gonna help this. Is that what you're saying? We'll see, man. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna take. Look at it. It's like wax. Oh yeah. I'm glad you're experimenting on this. Now. I bought. Uh, I came back from Fiji with um, coconut oil. And it was liquid. The whole time down there until I got back here. I don't think it's, it's that much hotter. Look, you can see it's melting in here really quickly. Come look, Maxie. Mm. Oh, you can't. I can. Look, you see. Wow. Oh, wow. That went fast. Yeah, you know what this is doing? This is exact. It's exactly what the way it was explained to me. Making it more creamy? Yeah. It's going to be shiny, too. Shiny yeah. and, and looser. Because once you dip, the cold of the banana really is going to start, you know. It's going to solidify like right there. Right. But here's what we've proven already. You don't need that stupid double boiler. You can do this all by itself. Right. You just got to be careful. You just got to be careful. So we get a spoon. Take this off. I like this already, man. I do too. And then we're just going to give it a little bit of time. In here, okay. So we've got pecans. We can try. This stupid thing didn't work at all. It's good for spices and junk. Okay, we got our bananas. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go like this. Let's try one right now. Ready? Ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. Yeah, you can see that it's already starting to clump. Wow. But I don't want too much. I don't, know if I'm, I don't know if I'm happy with this. Maybe you need like a like brush a, to paint it on. Or like a if, vase to dip it in. Right. What are you going to dip it in? I'm going to go uh, to, right here to the pecans. Ready? Yep. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Nice. I don't know if it's nice. Looks nice to me. It does? It's a mess, man. <laughs> this is a terrible mess. No, this is like the thing you do with your kids. This is the thing that you do with your kids. And I wish I had some little kids here. And I don't have any towels. Here's a towel. So I think I need a little bit more of this coconut oil. Is it hardened yet? Can you tell? This? Yeah. No, no, in the, on the banana. I oh, know. It's going to in the freezer, though. But I feel like I need a little bit more because I, I don't want it to be nearly as gloppy as it is, you know? All right, just mix this in, and then I'm gonna do it right here, right here. See, this is better. I don't think painting it would work. Do you think it would? I, what do we well, think? I think that just helps you control the amount of chocolate you put on it. Your guess is as good as mine, man. Let's try one, shall we? Like that's, I think it's more about the application of the chocolate than it is about the clumpiness. There you go. Mm. I like this. We're, we're like figuring it out as we go along. Yes, it's actually working. <laughs> you say that with such surprise. Yeah, because it's well, not supposed to have like, a chocolate bar surrounding it. No, it's not supposed to have a chocolate bar surrounding it. It's exactly right. That's what I did not want. And now I can do this. Okay, now we got it. Thank you, Max. No problem. I think the paintbrush was really a good way to go. Good job, Max. Okay, so we got this. This is a mess. This guy's here. I'm going to redo this guy. Check this one out. So I'm going to make a nice version of these. OK, this is happening. Now oh, yeah, we're the there. The brush is perfect. The brush is perfect. It's just like the right amount, you know? But you got to get that top part. OK? And now with, it, now with this, now some of these nuts. The Sam Livecast, the only place where you paint bananas. God, really, right? I can see that as a meme. <laughs> see, I'm painting his bananas. I mean, you know, like, 
this is just kind of the thing you want to do when you don't want to cook and it's so hot. Right. Hey, I got an idea. Check this out. Hold on, Maxie. Where are you going? I'm going right here. Coconut. Oh. Okay. Let me just do, let me just do one more of these guys. <laughs> look at your station, dude. They look great. My station's a mess? Yeah. There's a lot it's of a stuff going messy. on for just dipping bananas in. <laughs> okay, well, see, if I thunk this through, I imagine that this is just going to be easy to do. And a lot of the times, if it's not obvious, I try them right here. I don't do it in advance. No, and I think some people really like that about this show. And if you do, you should let us know on our Facebook, because that's where we live and breathe. That's where we live and breathe. Ah, well, look how pretty this one looks. Okay, there you go. How's that? Beautiful. I dig. Oh, shit. One more. I dig, I dig. Just so I can eat one and then you can have three pictures of prettiness then. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna get ready to sit down. You had to just do the one more. I had to do the one more. And we'll just do a little coconut and a little pecan. So you're doing more. Just this last one. Coconut and pecan, how's that? You might just throw the heat bar in there too, right? God, right. Okay. Okay, here they go. All right, so we got some frozen bananas, one with... So this is with pecans. Mm -hmm. This is with uh, pecans and... Um... Heath bar and coconut. No, just pecans and, and oh, coconut, okay. I think. And this is just Heath bar, but this one's sticking a bit. There we go. Nice. Okay, so the, the chocolate is, is now hardened. Mm -hmm. They've been in the they were in the fridge about an hour before I put the chocolate on them. And then um, now they've been in another I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or something like that. Nice. And now I need one bite. Do it. Is it as amazing as it looks? It's just freaking outstanding. <sighs> it's absolutely outstanding. The perfect summer food. Um the bananas need to be colder. They probably need now another good hour after this because I want the banana a little bit icier. But holy crap. Right amount of sweet. Use semi-sweet chocolate. Don't, don't do anything else. Semi-sweet chocolate. The coconut, which I'm not too huge a fan of, with the pecans on this is absolutely stellar. It's just stellar. And the Heath Bar thing, how good is that thing going to be? And something that Lynn said... Yeah. while you were making them is that this would be the perfect thing to have like a little frozen banana bar for your kids right all the toppings they can come make their own throw them in the freezer what a fun thing for a party or something they'll just make a huge mess who wants that hey you made your own mess i did so. make it look look back there yeah that's terrible uh -huh. okay all right thank you for being with us today uh we love hanging out with you we love that you're here we love that you tell people about us